Being in sales and service for now 26 years, I've had the opportunity to see so many men and women come across my table in my office, here in the industry, and I've noticed over that period of time that there's two types of salespeople. There's ones that focus on just the transaction, so they're more transactional based, and then there's ones that focus on building long-term relationships. Look, I don't know what's right, what's wrong for you. Um, either way, if you agree or disagree, do me a favor on whatever platform you're watching, put it in the comments if you agree or disagree. I would love to hear your opinion on this video. And if it's valuable, take the two seconds and press the share button again one, on whatever platform you're watching. Transactional-based salespeople. They're ones that are only thinking about the client that is right in front of them. And I understand why, I get it. Well, it's quick money because you don't have to put in all the, the, the work that, in my opinion, that's involved when you're doing relationship-based selling because all you're worried about is getting the customer, getting the client to sign on the dotted line and getting them moved into the process. I don't personally agree with it and I'll tell you why a little bit later. It's less work, right? You don't have to worry about all white glove service, um, offering certain uh, incentives that are gonna actually help the client later on through the sales process. It's a matter of, again, let me get this client to buy this product, to, to, to work with me in whatever service I'm providing, and I just wanna move them into the next funnel, so to speak, in the sales process. In my opinion, again, when you're when you're more transactional based, you you run the risk of of affecting your reputation long term. How and why? Let me tell you. See, when you start to be more transactional based, you're going to skip steps. You might move a client into a product or service that they have no business buying, okay? And because of that, you run the risk of that customer, that client, telling a friend, a family member, or in today's world, like the world through social media or any of, like maybe on your website, on blogs, you wanna be very, very careful. If you're only thinking about the client that's in front of you, and you, and, and you push them, you manipulate them, or oh, if I ever hear another sales trainer talking about objection handling, like we're not, we're not hockey pucks and you can't treat us like, like, like you have a hockey stick and you can handle our objections. However, if, if you're transactional based and it's working for you, I mean, all, uh, you know, the best to you. However, if you have if you actually want to be in the business long term, I strongly recommend that you start to focus on building long term relationships. Why? Because it's long money. And what do I mean by that? Like you will be able to service one client even if they don't buy your product or service. If you actually educate them up front so they can make an informed quality decision themselves, they're going to tell other people. See, the average person knows approximately 200 people. So if you know 200 people that know 200 people that know 200 people, your network now is 40,000 people. Imagine the amount of referrals you can get slash introductions. Imagine the amount of repeat clients you can get. How much does it cost you to acquire a client, a new client? Well, what if you didn't have to worry about that anymore? What if you just took care of your clients up front? Yes, it's more work, but in my opinion, you have more of a, a peace of mind. I mean, it allows me to sleep well at night. The amount of clients I've told not to, not to buy my product, not to use my service. Why? Because I know it wasn't right for them. You know what happened in, a tr in turn? A year later, six months later, three years later, they either came back to do business with me or what really is the best compliment for me is that they introduced a family or friend because it's hard. It's hard as as you know as a person to introduce a family and friend to to a, a salesperson because you don't want that that friend or family member to get like screwed. You don't want them to 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 get taken advantage of. And so that's why I say for me it's the biggest compliment. And one of the last reasons I think you should be thinking about relationship-based selling is because it's actually sellable. Look, for me in real estate, that the, the, the sales and service that I'm in right now for the last 16 years, if I decided to stop 
being in this business while I built up a massive book of business, my Rolodex essentially. I can take this book of business and give it to Luke, I can give it to Laura, I can give it to Tyler, I can give it to any salesperson, obviously one that is, is kind of cut from the same cloth as I am, and I can, I can earn referral fees for the rest of my life. That's only gonna happen and that is going to happen for me because I put in the time up front. Now, if you're a salesperson, I want to know, do you, are you more transactional based or are you more relationship based? And tell me if you agree with the video that you just saw. Love you guys and I appreciate your feedback.